This video will showcase the operation of dead man brake in electrically operated board davits. To begin with, let us first understand that Indian naval ships are fitted with two variants of single fall and hook type davits. One is the electro hydraulic davit and second is the electrically operated davit. Whilst the accumulators and the diesel driven pumps are used in emergency mode of operation of electro hydraulic davits, a manual handle with a dead man brake system is used for emergency operation of electrically operated davits. Since this video is specifically to explain the working of dead man brake in an electrically operated david, let us understand the sub assemblies of a dead man brake arrangement. This is an exploded view of the gearbox assembly fitted with dead man brake arrangement and we will understand each sub assembly in a sequential order. The crank handle is a manual handle which is used to undertake manual operations in emergency mode. The braking arrangement consists of two systems. One is the dead man brake arrangement and second is the centrifugal brake arrangement. The dead man brake lever is fitted with dead weight to facilitate perpetual engaged position. The dead man brake shoe is an eccentric section with an eccentric pinion and an inner brake lining to hold the clutch drum. The clutch drum is clutched onto the shaft and is placed sequentially after the dead man brake shoe. The centrifugal brake has an external brake lining which comes into action during gravity lowering to control the speed of lowering. Let us now understand the basic working principle with the help of a small video. The dead man braking arrangement consists of a dead man lever, a clutch drum with brake shoe and brake lining. For manual lowering operation, the dead man lever is lifted up. As a result, the brake lining loses contact with the clutch drum and the drum starts rotating, leading to lowering of boat under gravity. A centrifugal brake controls the rate of descent of the boat when the handbrake is not engaged. The centrifugal brake has a brake lining on top of the brake shoe and restraining springs. When the boat is lowered, the centrifugal effect pushes the brake shoes outwards against the restraining springs. The brake shoes now rub against the brake drum. Thus, the centrifugal brake restricts the lowering speed of the boat to not more than 36 meters per minute. For manual hoisting operation, the crank handle is used to rotate the shaft in hoisting direction. In the direction of rotation, the dead man brake shoe disengages due to double eccentricity and direction of rotation of clutch drum. However, when the rotation of the clutch drum in the hoisting direction stops, the dead man brake shoe engages back due to downward movement of the clutch drum under gravity facilitated by the dead weight. It may be noted that hoisting operation using the emergency or manual mode is a labor and time intensive operation and is to be used only in case of emergency.